So the past few weeks we've been going over some sweeps. We've done the major sweeps and the minor sweeps, the arpeggios, and their shapes. Uh, this week what I wanted to do was kind of get away from shapes now and kind of talk about some exercises you could do. We're going to take a look at some three string sweep arpeggio examples, uh, break them down. First I'll play them fast for you, then I'll break them down and show you how to play them. And pretty much that's what we're going to do today. So here goes. The first one we use is a D minor arpeggio. And the shape that's played there is your first finger goes onto the 14th fret. Second finger, as soon as the first finger lets off, goes to the 15th fret of the second string. Your first finger goes onto the 13th fret of the high E string. And then your pinky lands on the 17th fret of the high E string and then pulls off, comes back and then you begin your downstroke on the first note again. Each of these you play four times in a row. So so four times for each of these. So that's the first one. The second one is actually a G minor arpeggio and it's one where you're going to roll your first finger onto the 15th fret of the last three strings, so third string, second string, first string, uh, string, and make sure that your knuckle here bends a little bit. Then your pinky jumps up onto 18 on the first string, and then you just pull off and start over again. Then a C major arpeggio with your first finger starting on 12. Second finger, as the first finger lets up, goes to 13 on the second string. Your first finger goes onto the 12th fret of the high E string. Pinky reaches up to the 15th fret of the high string, and then you pull off and come back down. Then the last uh, arpeggio that you play is actually an F major arpeggio. You're going to start with your second finger on 14 of the third string. Then your first finger is going to roll from the second string 13th fret onto the first string 13th fret. So all together. Then your pinky jumps up to 17. So. That's the whole thing. So the second lick uh, is actually, basically it's a big time rip off of the Leper Messiah arpeggio sweep from uh, Kirk Hammett on the Master of Puppets album. It starts out, it's basically the same as the D minor arpeggio from Mr. Crowley, but it's a whole step up, so now it's an E minor arpeggio that you're playing. You start this time with your pinky, so we're starting backwards. We're starting with our pinky on the 19th fret. And make sure that your first finger is ready and waiting, already pressing down on the 15th fret on the bottom of the same string. So, pinky, upstroke, pull off to the 15th fret of the same string. As that comes off, your second finger goes to the 17th fret of the second string. Then your first finger lands onto the 16th fret of the third string. So the sweep arpeggio itself, you're going up, pull off, up, but then down, 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 and then you start it over. Up, pull off, up, down, down, down. And that's the same for the next two arpeggios coming as well. The first one, and the next two are the same exact shape, they just, one's placed a little higher than the other. So this, the second shape then, your pinky starts on, right here on uh, 20, 
pull off to 17. Second finger reaches for 18 on the second string. And then your first finger lands on 17 of the third string. And if my fretboard math is correct, that is an F major arpeggio. Yep, it's good. F major arpeggio. So first it starts out with E minor, jumps up to F major two times. So E minor plays through four times, F major plays through two times, and then G major, which is the exact same shape as F major, you're just going to move up a whole step to play this G major arpeggio. So your pinky lands on 22 on the high E string, pull off to 19 with your first finger, second finger goes to 20 um, on the second string, your first finger then lands on 19 once again on the third string this time. And there you have it. Start with your third finger. That's the way I'm doing it. You could use your pinky if you want to, but I'm using my third finger for this one. Third finger on seven of the high E string. Pull off to four with your first finger on the same string. Second finger reaches over to six right here on the second string. And then another upstroke leads you down to seven on the third string and then once again you pull off to four on the third string as well. And then let's watch how the pick does that now. So upstroke, pull off, upstroke, upstroke, pull off. Now when you start it over again, when you get back to the seventh fret of the third string, that's when I start the downstroke. Down and then sixth fret downstroke. 4th fret downstroke, and then upstroke on this 7, basically when it starts it over again. Now, what's going on there is I'm moving the shape itself up 3 frets, and I'm moving it up 3 frets every single time. So I'm playing the exact same shape, but I'm just moving it up 3 frets, and it creates that really uh, creepy, uh, diminished sound, I guess you could say. And I'm sliding with my third finger up each time. So, say from 7 here, I slide up to 10 with my third finger, pull off to 7 now with my first finger, and then second finger goes to 9, third finger goes to 10, 7, with the first finger and then start it over. You can really get some gumption started up, you know, just by practicing it slowly and then attempt to slide. So you don't have to do as many slides if you don't want to. Um, just try to build up the slides as you go. Maybe just start out sliding uh, one position down and then start adding on positions as you go. Okay. And those were the three string sweep exercises today. So you notice a lot of them mixed and matched major and minor arpeggios. Uh, they're all based off of the big shapes that we learned in the first two videos of this series. Um, make sure you realize that when you're practicing these, there is a hint of, I guess you could say, alternate picking in at least one spot. Um, for instance, when you go up, it's all sweeping, right? But then you have to come back, you hit your upstroke, pull off, upstroke, but then you don't want to hit an upstroke on the down, on the third string here. When you start the lick over, you actually want to begin with a, a downstroke again. So it's kind of like you're doing an outside picking thing uh, in between the sweeps. It's not until uh, you start adding more strings on do the upstrokes really get the sweeping vibe to them. So just be careful of that, be aware of that. Um, also, make sure you practice slowly, as always. Make sure each finger is lifting off one at a time. I know I sound like a broken record. I can't stress that enough, though. Uh, take each of these exercises, break them down, and just, just drill them. That's really the best way to do this is just get let your left hand get the, the map of it 
get the mechanics of it and just let the drilling be what hardwires your fingers to the to these uh, particular shapes and exercises they will get your fingers uh, ready so hope you all enjoyed this lesson today there's a lot of uh, other musicians that you can kind of sense within these you can sense a little Kirk Hammett in some licks a little bit of Jeff Loomis maybe a little bit of Yngwie Malmsteen okay a lot of Yngwie Malmsteen but uh, hope you all enjoyed them anyway so uh, I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you for watching these videos. I have a heck of a time making them. So take care.